I would imagine every date you've ever been on ha had to be pretty good, right? Not so. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I was always pretty shy around uh, women. Um, I was uh, telling them backstage, the, the first person I ever had like a real monster crush on was this girl, Kristen, when I was in seventh grade. And I didn't know how to talk to her, so I, uh, you know the, the Beethoven Sonata, Moonlight Sonata? Of course. It's a very sad song. Uh, I made a recording of Moonlight Sonata and recorded myself over top it, telling her that I loved her. <laughs> and then I brought it to school and totally chickened out. That's an incredible idea. It's a very terrible idea. Well, <laughs> do, you, do you remember actually what you said? Do you oh, it was, it was truly mortifying. It was like... I had, no, no, wait, I have an idea. Okay. You sit right here. Yes. Don't move. Okay. Don't move. Okay. Kristen, I picture us on a moonlit street. Brooklyn, maybe. I stare deep into your mahogany eyes and tell you how I truly feel. Kristen, I love you. Leave your boyfriend, Rick, who is enormous and drives quads and is about to join the military. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> now, thank you. You know, I wasn't doing that for any other reason but trying to give you some personal closure. It's, it was very cathartic. That was therapeutic. <laughs> Thank was, you. It wasn't traumatizing at all? I think it was a half and half. <laughs> it was like an Arnold Palmer of catharsis and trauma. <laughs>